So love who you are, embrace who you are, and be who you are. Don't try to be that Instagram baddie. Don't try. Don't. <laughs>
you know, you set yourself up because you need to make sure that you are knowledgeable in whatever it is somebody is telling you or what you do. So one thing I want to say is don't go with what everybody says. Don't go with the crowd. Do your own research. Step also, three is confidence, ladies. You cannot be a feminine lady if you do not have confidence and you will not have high self-esteem about yourself. The reason that I say this is because a feminine woman knows her value. She's a high value woman. She knows what she brings to the table. She knows what she has to offer. She knows herself from inside and out. There's nothing somebody can tell her about herself because she knows it. And being confident, I'm not trying to say this in a conceited or cocky type of way, but you want to be confident about yourself with whether you know, you don't have the best high-end clothes or your hair doesn't look really nice today. Like, confidence takes you a long way. You don't even have to be the most beautiful woman in the world. You just have to have confidence. And if you have confidence in yourself and you, you know, you embrace that energy and that feminine energy, you can go out today and you don't even have to speak just on the way you carry yourself, just your position, just the way that you look and your demeanor that will make you a beautiful woman. So having high confidence, high self-esteem really sets you up in life because you're carrying yourself in a whole different manner. Say I had low self-esteem. I'm My shoulders is down like this and I'm talking to you guys like and stuttering and saying like and um and yeah we can we can we can do that um can can you give me your number oh <laughs> you see i that's com that's a cold completely different look but if i'm shoulders back you know head up high hey yeah definitely can i get your number I, speaking with a step trippy boy for probably the step that everyone was wondering about when i would get to this the reason why i'm saying that one of these towards the last because towards the once you get towards the ending of this video i'm saying the more important thing so i want you guys to continue watching this video so you know step five which is the number one thing you want in your life but step four is going to be your looks you guys your looks are very important during your feminine journey like as much as society does not want to admit it the way you go out your house and what you're wearing what you look like how your hair is done perceives you as who you are as a person it may not be who you really are but that's the way society is going to look at you as and say you're going on an interview and you're dressed all up you look sophisticated look classy and you're sitting down in your interview that first three seconds the person that's interviewing you has already decided if you're going to get this job or not and it's sad to say that but that's exactly what happens in today's society so what you wear is very important i you don't want to go out. I, it took me a long time, a long time to actually understand this. But you don't want to go outside or go to somebody's house or go out shopping. And it's, you don't want to look like a whole little H-O-E. I hate to say it, you guys, but you don't want to go out looking like that. I know you got these Instagram baddies that look fabulous and look cute and they're cute outfits, but they're just showing way too much skin. And if you're trying to get on this feminine journey, you do not want to do that. You don't want people to look at you like that because people are going to look at you as an object before they look at you as a wife. That's how men are going to look at you. And if you continue to do that, then you're not gonna be on this feminine journey and if you're watching this video then you obviously know that that's not what you want to look like because nowadays you have people getting like I'm not against it but you know I'm trying to be as natural as I can with certain things how I do my makeup how my hair is done and how my body goes and my inspiration on how I want to get my body but you don't want to be like Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian though I love them but nothing about them is natural from their bodies, their face, their makeup, their hair, their nails. Everything is extra over the top in their bot and not real. It's plastic. You know, I know that whole hourglass figure is popular, but if that's not your natural body type, don't try to get surgery to get the trend because the trend can change next year and that straight body type can be popular and trendy. So love who you are, embrace who you are, and be who you are. Don't try to be that Instagram baddie. Don't try. 
don't because it doesn't look classy you look like every other girl and you want to stand out during this feminine journey that's the main thing you stand out you be who you are you be unique and you look good doing it you know so one thing i want to say is make sure your hair is always done make sure it's clean make sure it's kept make sure your ends look good and make sure it's just in a neat style like right now i'm wearing wand curls in my hair and i do have on extensions this is actually a wig you guys and if you want to see this video on this wig um i'll link it down in the comment section below or in the description box below because the video should be up but you know make sure your hair is just kimped make sure your outfit looks polished and neat um on this femininity journey some of the colors that you should be looking to wear especially during the spring is pinks um browns whites bright colors but neutral colors like this is a pink blouse but it's not like a bubble gum plink blouse where it's like just boom you know so i love this blouse i actually thrifted this blouse fun fact from goodwill and i absolutely adore it i feel like it gives me it just literally gives me feminine vibes and i love it so one thing i'm going to put down in the description box as well is my poshmark closet because i thrift store i go to the thrift store all the time and i'm always seeing amazing feminine looking clothing and they're not my size so i decided i wanted to start listing clothes in my poshmark closet that i find at goodwill that can be in a size small medium large whatever the size that i'm not because i'm going to end up keeping some of the clothes that i like up for my size but I'll put some feminine clothes inside of that closet for you guys and you can start your feminine journey now and order some of the clothes that are really really cheap and affordable because I am not over the top on my prices I do get it from Goodwood at a low price so I would definitely sell it for reasonable my whole this whole channel is created for you guys to help you guys during your feminine journey you show you during your feminine journey show you guys bits and pieces of my lifestyle that you can incorporate in yours and show you that you can still be a mom like me and still be stylish at the same time and be a great mom as well so um i'm rambling on i know he was talking about style and looks but make sure i'm gonna go ahead and fit, get back you know back into gear but make sure your skin is good make sure you're washing your um, face make sure you're getting in a shower daily i know that sounds like kind of basic but some people don't realize they need to get in a shower every day so make sure you get in the shower every day make sure you're um, putting lotion on your body because you know i'm a i'm a black girl and i get dry skin and i get ashy very quickly and it's noticeable so i need to make sure i'm moisturizing with lotion and shea butter and making sure my skin is beautiful and even it doesn't matter what color you are, you do need to make sure your skin is moisturized because your skin could be um, really dry and then it starts getting, it, it's a lot that can happen if you're not moisturizing your skin on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, the last tip is tip number five, step number five is to be spiritual. Now, when I say be spiritual, I mean, I am a Christian, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, and he is my savior. So when I started this femininity journey, and even before I started this femininity journey, I decided I wanted to start putting Christ first in my life. And when I say that, I, he's made all the difference throughout this journey and throughout my life and everything, friendship, relationships, you know, family, my household, bit, putting him first has really opened my eyes to what this world really is. And this really, this world is crazy. It really is crazy. And believing in God and believing in Jesus Christ and that he dies for my sins and continuing to worship him every morning and night and to teach him about every, teach him to people that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be something small or big, I'm still it's hard to explain it, you guys, but I really believe that if you put God first in everything you do, then everything will come to you in abundance. God will provide. Just to make sure you believe in him and you put Christ first above anything. And your journey through this feminine journey to your level up journey to your level in Christ, everything in between will literally rise up you will be on top of the world and you you wouldn't be in this world literally you will literally be on top of this world because you will see things differently than what the average person will see 
literally but i'm gonna go ahead and in this video if you guys want me to do more videos on any of those five tips that i told you about so far or do any different type of femininity videos on style on fashion religion any of those kind of um any of those kind of videos let me know down in the comment section below and make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you're not um so you're notified every time i post a video so without further ado i'll talk to you guys later bye